I wanted to talk about the calendar. Now, there's a Jewish holiday, a biblical holiday, starting at sunset. Um, I suppose it's already started in the land of Israel, but I'm in the United States. Now, most people believe that it's the start of the biblical year, and this starts counting from creation, the Garden of Eden, 5782, 5782. Actually, in the Bible, the spring, the beginning of the year, is at springtime. And that's supposed to be our first month of the year, not, not the month we're in. But the month we're in is actually the agricultural new year, because this is the last harvest of the season. You know, then um, weather's getting cooler, and then in winter, you know, we're, we're not harvesting anything. So I was thinking about um, the calendar that most of the world uses, you know, that it's September 2020. And what about the Garden of Eden? Can you picture the wife of Adam, the first man, asking him, my dear, what is the date today? What's the calendar day today? And can you picture him saying, well, it's 3761 BCE, before the Common Era. No, he would have said, why, my dear, it's the first day, and you and I are the first people. And it's about noontime, and we were told to take care of the garden, and to not touch that one tree over there, the apricot, that's in the middle of the garden. But we can eat from it later at sunset when the Sabbath starts, the seventh day. Okay. So I don't understand why we have a calendar year of 2020 when the earth is not 2020 years old, it's older than that. So just think about it. And um, Rosh Hashanah is uh, what most people or many people call this holiday, which means the head of the year. But actually the, the Bible calls it Yom Teruah, the day of the sounding of the trumpet, because we're starting a very uh, important month. It's going to be the first day of the seventh month, and there's a lot of biblical special holidays this month. For example, in a few days, on the uh, 28th of this month, it's going to be the Day of Atonement, Yom Kippur. And this is when we, we fast, because we want to concentrate fully on the past year in our life, have we hurt anyone? Do we need to ask forgiveness of anyone? Is there anything we did that that disappointed someone? And what can we do to make up for it? So it's it lasts about 25, 26 hours because you don't want to eat and be full up to the last minute. And it starts, all biblical days start at sunset the day before and they go through sunset of the day of the holiday. After Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, a few days after that, on my calendar here, I see that Sukkot, Feast of Tabernacles, is on October 3rd. So that's a Saturday, so the holiday starts in the evening at sunset on Friday night. Now Sukkot is a celebration holiday. It's the end of the harvest. And because in the past at harvest time, in order to get all the work done before the weather got too cool and harvest all the plants, we had to make a temporary hut out in a field 
and just, you know, sleep there. You know, don't go back to the, the tent, the farmhouse. So we relive that by making little structures in our yard or on our balcony or on our roof. And we gather, you know, palm fronds and, and, um, and fruit branches and, and myrtle trees and willow branches. And, and we celebrate. And we're supposed to do as many things as possible in the sukkah, the tabernacle, the temporary structure. So that means, you know, you have a meal there, you take a nap there, you receive company there. Um, some people do stay in it 24 hours and they sleep there all night. So these are meaningful holidays. They keep memories alive and they follow the Bible commandments. So if you have any questions, Please ask me if I've made an error in something I'm remembering or said. Please tell me. And I think that's about it. And remember, it's almost 6,000 years since the creation. And why do we think that? Because it's the only thing we have proof for. Proof by, I mean, writing. We have writing on, on, on metal, writing on cave walls, writing on animal skins. And that's, that's the proof. That's the best proof we, we, can, we can rely on. Think about it.